All right, today we're going to look at how to upload a PDF preset into InDesign and how to send someone a PDF preset that you made. You know, we all send and receive uh, PDFs all the time, and they always have different things that you need, whether it's bleed lines, resolutions, things like that. So how do you take a preset that somebody else made on another computer and load it into your computer so when it comes time to export your PDF, you can just send it to them and not really have to worry about messing anything up? For printers and publishers, this is great, you know, giving your clients the preset and they can just load it directly into InDesign. When you get a preset, it looks like this. You know, On Windows, you have this option of this little um, thumbnail here. It's called MMT Spreads Grackle Spreads. So this particular preset can be loaded into InDesign. But you can also make one, and then you have to then, in a sense, export it out so that you can send it to someone else. When you go into your, your document here and you want to make a PDF, you go to File, Export, and then you choose you want PDF Print. There's a lot of options you can do. You, cho you choose that, a DB that um, Adobe PDF Print option under the file type, and then you're going to get a menu of options for how to export your PDF. And a lot of it, you might not even realize what all this is. I mean, down compressions and marks and bleeds and a lot of things going on here as well as your specific printer's uh, profile. So if the printer or your publisher sends you uh, a preset, it'd be very easy. You can make your own uh, here by setting up different things. You say, I want, I want some bleeds and marks, and I'm going to also make this spreads and not pages. And then when I have mine done, I can save my preset. I can call it preset Adobe preset one, two, three, four, and I hit OK. And now that preset is there, but it's only on my computer. I can export it like that, but I'll have to remember to um, to do this. And if somebody else wants Adobe preset one two three four, well, I'm gonna have to tell them all the different settings, or just send them this exported um, preset. So the way that you import and export presets is you come down here to where it says Document um, or PDF Adobe PDF Presets. And so there's all my presets. There's the one that I just made. And you can also come here to define. And inside of the define panel is where you would, of course, load one that already exists. So if I loaded this MMT Grackle spread, it would actually load it into my options. And then another option is, of course, and one that people don't really know, it took me a while to find myself, is a save as option. So if I could take this, uh, this test that I made earlier, which was the Adobe preset one two three four and I simply sit click save as and there I can you know I'll have to recall it what I want it to be I'll call it one two three four five and I'll and I'll save that option there that way I can send that preset to somebody else um, if you come over here to my files um, and I go to my test files here there I will see it. It's right there. Adobe PDF preset one two three four five. So this is a way for you to send, receive, import, and export uh, your Adobe presets. And now once I've loaded them in there, when I come to my file export and I go to export something and I say I want to export it into a PDF, I will see that particular PDF preset that I imported located here in my options panel. And there it is. Adobe preset one two three four. I got my test. I also have my MMT Grackle spreads and all the other ones that I wanted to load. Hope this was helpful.